Stars that, and pubs that don't serve a substantial meal are, due, are per perhaps due to open next Monday. <coughs> I heard the Deputy Chief Medical Officer's comments that there was a week to decide. Now, the civil service can work for a while at least in splendid isolation of economic realities, or at least until the economy can't afford to pay their salaries. But for small businesses, they have to get in stock. Fam many of these pubs are family-run businesses. They have to arrange for their families, etc. Uh, and uh, they need to know in advance. If you can't tell them Monday morning, you can open it at, at 10 o'clock on Monday morning. They need to know in advance. When will they be told? And when will the statutory instrument which will govern this be published? Because up to now, we've had statutory instruments published two or three days after they come into effect. Now, that's not rule of law, because you can't you can't regulate your behaviour in accordance with something that's not published, and you can't prosecute somebody for not adhering to something that they can't even see. In terms of reopening, uh, phase four of the roadmap, there'll be a government meeting um, tomorrow in relation to that. NEFIT are meeting today. NEFIT will give its up-to-date advice. Um, and I'm taken by some of the points made by, by Deputy uh, McNamara, Cahill, Collins and, and McGrath. Uh, in terms of, um, a, you know, a rules-based approach sometimes can be far more effective. I mean, I said earlier, of more danger than anything is the 30 people in a house. And we're going to have to do something about that. Or 60 people in a house party. Or house parties in certain roads in our cities. Um, and there's no control. In, I'm, I'm making the point that I, what Deputy Collins is saying and Deputy Cavill is saying. In other words, uh, where there are rules, you can, you, you, behaviour follows, um, and I think the guard did the, the, the operation navigation the weekend before last, whereas they did have some challenging um, experiences in, in identifying breaches, nonetheless said that the large majority were compliant. The reports this, week, <coughs> this weekend likewise are suggesting a large degree of compliance with the rules. Right. Okay? Thank you, Tishik. But that said, there are other issues arising in terms of the uh, the virus itself and its activity levels uh, and all of that has to be taken in the round. We'll get the advice today, we'll make a decision tomorrow. I'm taken by the point of the need for preparation and the need to give people notice. I Thank you very much.